Good day learners, this is Easy Engineering. This time, we are going to talk about motion along a straight line, distance, and displacement. The basic form of motion is the motion along a straight line. There are many parameters to consider in this kind of motion, but for this video, we will only investigate the fundamentals which are the distance and the displacement. Let us begin learning motion in a straight line by this common example. Imagine your friend, Susie standing outside of her house. This is her original position. 100 meters away is where the convenience store located. Between Susie's house and the convenience store, there is an internet cafe. It is 50 meters away from Susie's house. Susie is having a walk going to the convenience store. She will pass across the internet cafe until she will reach the convenience store. During the process, she will cover 15 meters from her house to the internet cafe and another 50 meters until she reaches convenience store a total of 100 meters when susie finished her business in the convenience store she decided to go home she will pass again the internet cafe until she reaches her house the length of her return journey will be 50 meters to reach the internet cafe and another 50 meters to reach her house so if you look at the total path length from her house to convenience store, she traveled 100 meters. Going home, when she reaches the internet cafe, it will be 100 meters plus 50 meters which is equal to 150 meters. And when she is back to her house, it will be 150 meters plus 50 meters which is equal to 200 meters. This path length is basically the length of the path. Path length is also known as the distance with the SI unit meter. Take note that distance is only representative of the magnitude of the path traveled in meters. It is only a quantity without a direction. Hence, distance is scalar quantity. For that, we need a new term which is displacement. Displacement is a vector quantity which is the shortest distance traveled between the initial and final point of the traveling object. The SI unit of displacement is also meter. Going back to the example, we saw how Susie traveled from her house to internet cafe to convenience store and going back to her house. We previously looked the distance values, but now we will look the displacement values. As Susie went to the convenience store, the distance and displacement are of the same value. But when Susie comes back to her house, when she reaches the internet cafe, her distance is 150 meters. But her displacement, which defines as the shortest distance from the point of origin, her house to her final position the internet cafe as you can see is just 50 meters but when she reaches her house where which is her point of origin the value of displacement becomes zero that is all for now i hope you learned something today once again this is easy engineering